Hello everybody and welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at this AOC 24 inch curved gaming monitor. I'm Really Random Reviews, I hope you're all doing fine and well and having an awesome day. This monitor normally costs around £200 in the UK but I got this one from Amazon Warehouse where you can often find yourself very good deals. It's around £199 right now in the UK, for the 27 inch it's around £250. We got this one for £180 because it supposedly has a scratch on the back. Often people will just return because they've changed their mind or found a better deal and in that case you can find yourself a good deal. AOC thought it was so good they showed it twice on the box. So let's get into it and see how good it actually is. So we get two power leads looks like we've got a UK 3 pin power lead which looks like it's a reasonable length and then we get a US or an EU variant in there too so that's good to see you've got the choice there very good next we have the v-shaped base which is a cast metal subframe and black rigid plastic on the outside with red trim for aesthetics the center rotates a little each way to give us better viewing angles and it has a textured black finish with red trim. It looks very nice and pretty sturdy. Underneath we've got a locking screw which has a pull tab so no tools are required here to build this although you might like to tighten that with a screwdriver the choice is there if you want to. Next we have the neck which again feels very good quality. It has the same textured black finish with the red trim and a cable loop to keep things nice and tidy when it's up and running. Again, it's made from a cast metal subframe with the rigid black plastic outer shell. This also has adjustment options so it can slide up and down to adjust the height of your screen. We'll look at this shortly. All very well made and looks very good. Then we've got a generic HDMI lead and there should be a display port cable here as well but that seems to be missing. Then we've got a disc if you've still got a disc drive in 2022. And finally some mounting screws. On to the main piece then, the actual panel itself. This is protected in a polystyrene shell. Good to see that it's all been wrapped back up for its own protection. It actually feels quite heavy for a 24 inch panel. Okay, so it looks really nice. The AOC logo in the center there. There's some controls on the bottom right side with some etchings on the bottom plastic trim to show you what they are. The red theme continues with the red bead all the way across the bottom of the screen there. And it's got a nice little curve to it. So let's get it all together then and see how it actually looks when it's all set up. The top part of the stand just sits onto the base. Line up the screw and tighten that up as tight as you can get it. Very good. To be honest, I would consider this a premium stand. To get something like this with your monitor, you would normally be looking at around three to four hundred pounds, in my Game opinion. With money. Money, 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 the money, monitor money, itself money. has two little holes at the top and they sit onto these anchor points. Just line them up to the cutout and then let the monitor sit. The weight of the monitor will lock it into place. Just check that it is fully locked and then it's good to go. As you can see, the slide up and down is really nice. It's smooth and it just stays wherever you put it. I'm actually quite surprised with that. You've also got a little quick release button at the bottom there and you just press that in and lift the monitor off the stand for when you wanna change your mounting options or for maintenance. So some of this monitor's main features then, the stand, how adjustable it actually is. You can adjust it up, down, left, right. It also has a pivot and tilt. It's also got the cable cutout, which is one thing that I really like. It really helps with cable management. It is a 24 inch curve screen with a 1500R curve. It has a one millisecond response time, 144 hertz refresh rate, wide viewing angle, a VA panel, some manual controls with your simple power, left, right, menu and select. It also has very thin bezel edges. It has VESA mounting options, the quick release and no tools are required for assembly. It comes with one display port, two HDMI ports 
and also a VGA support. For anybody that's still maybe using VGA, unfortunately, I'm not going to use the stand here. I'm going to show you a little demo, but other than that, I'm going to actually use the face mount. As you can see, really smooth movement, left and right swivel, and then we've got tilt, and then we've got up, down. Excellent. As I said, I'm actually going to use the VESA mount, and if you guys are interested in cable management, you can see how I tackle that in my next video. And also, try and help us get to 50 subscribers, guys. I'm going to do a giveaway very soon, and we've got a few good things to give away, like some earbuds and some RGB and things like that. So, after taking a very good look at this monitor and getting it permanently set up in its home, I wanted to do an anti-ghosting test. You can do this yourself by going onto your web browser, typing in UFO FPS test, and it will bring you to this website here where you can monitor your frame rates. As you can see, it's very customizable, but it should automatically recognize the monitor you're using. We've got 144 FPS on the top row and hardly any ghosting, so I'm very impressed with this. After taking it into a few games also, I had no issues with it and I found the colours to be okay and vibrant. Although, onto the negatives now, I do wish the colour had a little more depth, it's kinda heavy with the reds. Another negative, if you can call it that, is that it has no speakers. It has a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can always plug a 5 in 1 surround sound in and get audio that way. Though likely most people will be using this on a PC so you'll either have Bluetooth audio or headphones. We've give this 4 stars out of 5 guys. I can't really find any other faults with it and I think it's amazing. It's actually been my main monitor now. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, please go ahead and leave me a like, it really helps the channel grow. Also, try and help us hit 50 subscribers, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.